Welcome back everyone, this is Papa Sean, and I'm going to show you Are how you to done? assassinate a general Don't of an army. So. so we're looking to kill this Thorgrad Kromson. So we're going to assassinate him with our hero unit. If you don't have a hero unit, and uh, as Chaos, you recruit them from another army here. There's a button that says Recruit Hero, otherwise you would click on a settlement if you were a different faction. And they would have this similar dagger and eye, and it says Recruit Hero, you select that. And you can get a hero to join your cause. Otherwise, they can actually join on their I own or through missions. Alright, so we have selected our hero. He is within range. That's that yellow barrier that you see. We're going to right click on his banner. It's going to come up with some actions here. Hero actions. Assault the unit. This is going to inflict damage upon a unit in the target. So you'd select which unit you want the damage. And then you would assault it. So if he had 75 men, it might drop him down to 50, he might drop him down to 20, depends on how strong your hero is and what he's specialized in. But we're looking to assassinate. You do see money amounts that are assigned to each of these actions. That's how much it's going to cost you to pay the hero to perform the action. There is a chance of failure. Uh, so if you fail an assassination, then for this case, it depends on the strength of your hero. I have a 17% chance of getting my hero wounded when he attempts to assassinate. There's only a 24% chance that he's going to successfully assault, or rather, assassinate the uh, enemy general. If we were to look at the assault chance, it's higher. We have a 44% chance to have a positive outcome and damage the unit. There's still a 12% chance that my hero will be wounded. In all of these cases, you gain experience as you perform actions. And let's go ahead and, without further ado, assassinate this guy. Alright, so we attempted to assassinate him. We had hero activity assassination failure. Our chaos sorcerer was not up to par in the attempt. The mission against Thorgrad Crimson Army belonging to Krakadraka was a failure. Aww. But you see, you got experience. It took him halfway through a level of experience. We're going to end turn. We're going to have another go at him. Ambusher discovered, so they discovered my ambusher. We're gonna go ahead and attempt it a second time. I'm gonna pay the money again. Assassination failure. Our sorcerer was not up to par, so we failed again, but now we're level two. So we take a look at his abilities. He can, he can learn fireball, which will help him in the battlefield. Or we can go with uh, proponent, horde building construction cost minus 15%. Uh, and we also want to take a look at what is going to give him what he needs for assassinations. Alright, so it looks like he's got assault unit action and damaging building. So assassination action, additional 8% chance of killing the target. He needs to go through the proponent. So let's go ahead and uh, put his points in proponent. Except he won't have the benefits anytime soon from that, but each level he gains will also increase his base ability to perform the actions required. So we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it unless he gets wounded. Rival power comes to parley. No peace. Demanding a change in you. Alright, so let's select that unit. What? On the banner again, right click. Assassinate. Alright. Perform it. There we go. Assassination successful. So it may take you a few goes, but that is how you assassinate the general. And why would you do that? Well, he might be a high-level general if you assassinate one that isn't tied to the storyline. He's gone from the game forever. If it is a, a hero like uh, Grimgore Ironhide who's tied to the story, he'll only get wounded. So in this case, we actually did just wound Thorgrad Kromson belonging to Krakadrak, and uh, he escaped. Uh, uh, our assassin escaped unscathed. Alright, so he will be wounded, he'll be out for a few turns, and he'll come back. If you do assassinate and actually successfully kill the target, they'll be out from the game entirely, unless again, of course, they are somebody like Grimbor Ironhide, where he's tied to the storylines. Um, and each faction has their main general that cannot be killed, they can only be wounded, and they're usually out of the action for three to six turns. Alright, uh, it'll also make it easier for your armies that are attacking them to defeat them, because now they no longer have their powerful warlord or wizard to assist them. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. It's all free to do. Helps me out greatly. And all ad revenue goes towards the kids' college education. Thank you and enjoy Warhammer Total War.